The ITF International East Africa Junior Championship is uh, currently going on here in Kenya, and uh, today was a uh, day three of the action. And talking about the Kenyans in action, yes, they want to be impressive, and today we had uh, two chaps who were able to qualify for the next stage. I'm talking about Albert Njogu and also Sirena Kotecha, who won their single matches in today's action. Linda Rutunu has more details. Kenya's favorite Ryan Randiek is out of the boys' singles in the International Tennis Federation Under-18 tournament. The local boy lost to India's Rithvik Bolipali in a battle of thrones that saw Rithvik win the game in sets of 6-2, 6-1 display of victory. Today I, I played really well against Ryan. He's a local player, he practices here, so he, he must be used to the conditions over here, but... I stepped it up and played really well. I feel like I'm doing well so far. Just need to polish up some more things. In another match, Kenya's flag was hoisted after Albert Njogu and India's Aman Patel went head-to-head -head in a thrilling three-set encounter. Njogu has a final laugh after three grueling sets to bat the tie sets of 6-4, 3-6 and 6-2. In the girls' category, Kenya's Neha Kotecha beat Russia's Senya Shikanova in straight sets 6-4, 6-3 to win the match. The best thing is for our players to, to get a little bit more exposure, international exposure, not just by international players coming with them but the atmosphere is a bit different when they go to places like Europe. The curtains for the tournament pitting top players from different countries against one another will fall on the 10th of February. In the ongoing ITF East Africa 18 and under junior circuit, players from different countries have converged at Nairobi to showcase their skills in the hopes of attaining top global rankings. Rotuno Konyike, KTN Sports. During the country